Well, Vanessa, it sounds like we have a lot on the way this morning. Even though the, the, the skies might look a little clear now, it's, it's definitely not expected for the rest of the day. Yeah, today is going to be a day you will need to be weather aware here in northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas. I did talk about the potential of severe weather for today late last week, but models were still a little uncertain. But now we're starting to see a little bit more of an, of an agreement that we could see a significant severe weather event across the northern plains today, especially into central central and eastern Iowa towards the Quad Cities and unfortunately parts of northern Missouri including Kirksville and parts of our viewing area in northwest Missouri are under that level four moderate risk in the red here. St. Joe, we're right on the edge of that level three enhanced to level four moderate risk, but I don't want you to really focus on the level and really the color we're in because we're still going to be dealing with storms that's going to be pushing through here as a line develops at ahead of a cold front later on this afternoon. That's going to pack a punch, bring in some damaging winds, possibly 70 miles per hour or greater hurricane force, large hail, two inches or larger, maybe half dollar baseball size hail at most. And unfortunately, we cannot rule out the chance of tornadoes, maybe isolated strong EF2 or higher tornadoes, especially as you near the Missouri Iowa border and into Iowa. So let's walk through the hour by hour forecast together. This morning we have storms up to our north could possibly graze our far, far northern counties, maybe Atchison, Nottoway counties, but that's not what I'm worried about this morning. I am more concerned about this line that's going to develop sometime after two o'clock this afternoon. And this is the line we're going to have to watch, especially as it moves off to the east, as this is going to be the line that's going to bring in those strong to severe storms. So this is going to be a fast mover. By the time we get it to the eight, nine o'clock hour, it's all going to be over tonight. Mostly clear, nothing to worry about for Wednesday into Thursday. We just have to get through that two to eight o'clock window of that line of storms. It's a quiet start to our day here in St. Joseph. Nothing much going on, but look how warm it is this morning. We are waking up to the 70s when we have a warm, humid air mass to start off the day. You know, this is just setting the stage for that line of showers and thunderstorms to develop. We're already seeing activity up to our north in Nebraska and Iowa this morning where they have been dealing with severe weather this morning. This is not even the main act. The main act is out to our west where the cold front is setting up. That is going to be pushing through later on today. Out ahead of it, it's going to be very warm, above average, 85 degrees. Once the cold front pushes through here, down into the 70s for Wednesday, back down to near average before we warm up again, heading into the long holiday weekend, Courtney, with chances of showers and thunderstorms returning. And still ahead.